Let's go. Uh, do collections settle look good when buying a home or should I pay it off in full? Natalie, this is a heavy topic. I think I'm going to start covering some lenders now, especially like 2023 and 2024. When they see it, they rather you have a paid collection on your report for some reason. I don't know why than an open collection. It's weird, right? But in my eyes, I rather you dispute it and get the whole collection removed. You know what I mean? So um, it's up to your lender. If your lender just says, hey, uh, we just need this account paid, right? You can do a pay for delete and go that route, right? Some lenders are different. Like I got some homies in Florida where their lenders are different. In California, they're different. And um, up in like Seattle, I got some folks up there too. Like it's different. It's weird. Um, but for me, if you're going to pay a collection, do a pay for delete, okay? Pay for delete. That means that you're not claiming the debt. You're just saying, hey, Mr. Collection Agency, I'm willing to pay this amount of money to get this thing off my report. You know what I mean? If you need a pay for delete letter, let me know. Um, after I get down with these questions, after I get down to the bottom, I'm going to start showing you guys the guides and, and some dispute letters and stuff like that. I just like to do the Q&A first. Okay, your problem is no credit cards. You don't have no revolving credit, right? So your utilization looks a little weird, huh? So now you need to add a credit card or two. If you need some easy options, hit the link in my bio. Grab the, um, it says five starter accounts, right? Grab that Capital One. It's an easy one. And then that Discover, easy. Two easy ones. Let's go.